Doctors at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia have completed the world's first double hand transplant on a child. Earlier this month, surgeons gave new hands to eight-year-old Zion Harvey, who lost his limbs after suffering a serious infection. At a press conference this afternoon, Zion thanked the team that helped reconstruct his hands. And I want to say to you guys, thank you for helping me do this. Don't be Doctors showed how Zion has slowly gained some movement in his new hands. Now he can start to move his fingers just a little bit, right? And so Zion is getting therapy here at CHOP by Deb Humpo and others a couple times a day. And he's going to be doing it for some time until he starts to get feeling back and use his hands. And as Scott's showing you here, he's moving from little movements then he'll grab larger objects and then smaller objects like Cheerios and Legos until he develops the fine dexterity that Zion needs to have to do the things that you and I do on a daily basis. Joining us now is Dr. Jamie Levine. He is Chief of Microsurgery and Associate Professor of Pediatric Plastic Surgery at NYU's Lagone Medical Center. Dr. Levine, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. This is truly groundbreaking, a surgical first. How amazed were you watching this? I'm stunned. I, I mean, I knew that people were talking about it and thinking about it, but to watch it and see it happen is, is miraculous. So this is a 10-hour operation. <laughs> it involves more than 40 doctors. <laughs> Walk us through this. There have to be different teams, correct? Yeah, different teams, sort of staging of it, because there was a fatigue component of it and a tremendous amount of microsurgery skill and a huge amount of planning that has to go into this. Um, this is not something that they thought about the day of surgery. They've been planning this, I'm sure, for months, you know, maybe even years in advance uh, when they uh, probably first got the uh, patient in. Um, it, you need to have teams that are going to both that are going to receive or get the uh, hands, the arms. Um, that's the, from the uh, donor, and then you have need a teams, two teams probably that are going to work immediately on the uh, recipient or the patient that's going to receive the hands to prepare that. And then in between, there's all this work that goes in there, so that you can mate them, that you can put plates on because you have to fix bones, you have to fix tendons, you have to fix blood vessels, nerves, and then the soft tissue and skin around there. It's truly an amazing feat. An amazing feat. He's eight years old, <laughs> so we know that his hands are going to grow with him, but do we know how much they will grow? What kind of unique challenges do they face here? It's, there, are, there are the unknowns. I think this is, you know, what we're dealing with now is, um, has never been done, and so no one exactly knows, I think, how the plates will grow, the age matching, whether it'll keep up uh, in time. Um, but there is good information. There's, uh, you know, animal research that's gone on to show that there is growth that can still happen within the limbs at that age. So I think that they've done their homework, and I think there are some unknowns, but I think they have enough literature and information going back, solid organ transplant and other areas, to know that uh, tissue should end up growing and, and, and building in. And in fact, in a child, I think they have the best chance for maximal outcome. Well, Zion showed us some subtle, slow <laughs> movements of his hands. What is the recovery process like going forward now? What happens next for him? I think there's the constant issue of rejection. Um, so that's what he's going to remain on medication probably lifelong until they sort of figure out the uh, immune component of this type of uh, surgery. But that's, a, that's one part of it. The initial challenges are just getting things to work, to get the blood flow working, to get the blood vessels connected and get all the tissues to start healing. Now that that's underway, really what he's waiting for is nerve regeneration. Uh -huh. Okay, but he's probably starting the function already because he has some remnant of musculature that exists within his arm to begin with that's pulling on the attached limb and, and actually could start functioning, which is re where this could actually have some great outcomes. So the mom said that when he woke up after surgery, she felt like it was having a newborn all over again. So what must it feel like for him and, you know, going forward, all the therapy he's going to have to go through to basically retrain himself to use these hands? It's going to be a huge amount, like in adults, it's almost a, a lifelong uh, quest. 
In a child, it will be similar. He's going to have a, a ton of rehabilitation to go through, and it's going to be a tremendous and intensive amount. But I think more so than an adult, his brain and his ability to accommodate and adapt is much greater. When it comes to appropriate donors, the doctor said that on average every year they only have less than 15 in terms of appropriate donors that they could actually use. So how amazing is it that he was put on the wait list in April and three months later they were able to perform this surgery? It, it, it is amazing, you know, having sort of being in a situation of waiting my, uh, myself with our own teams and everything else. It's an unknown length of time. And to find a donor match, both from a blood perspective and then from a cosmetic perspective, you know, you look at color and, and size match, it is actually pretty miraculous. It is really fortunate. Unbelievable to watch. Yeah. And watching little Zion there, it looks like, as you said before we went on, he looks like he's going to be a little star. <laughs> yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah. This kid's uh, very comfortable with the... Uh, I guess his newfound position, but I think also comfortable with himself, and that's going to help him with the, the adaptation of the, having the new hands. Amazing, Dr. Levine. Thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Fascinating.